that's it. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Oh. No, it's, it's, I'll round it off because it has been a neat place to be. You're a big frog in a little pond and, and you're working with your friends and if somebody's hurt, you're the one they call. Mm -hmm. And if somebody needs a part for a boat, you're the one they call. And you're always helping people out and you, you get to jump in and be there. Most of the time if something happens, you're standing on the outside edge and they say, keep moving folks, nothing here to see. But here, you're, you're it. I mean, yeah. you're doing it and there they are and you fix them up, drag them in. So, it's, um, it's changed now because they have helicopters. They had just big old albatrosses and they couldn't get in and out of these small places. So actually the Coast Guard would call me up and say, Bill, would you take a look at Port Dick? When I got two citations, which is a good thing in the Coast Guard. And one of them was for finding, going out in bad weather and finding a boat that was, had already sunk in Kamishak and everybody was hanging on to crab pot boys and they were drifting on the beach. It was really bad. A, a search and rescue helicopter turned around in Augustine, said it couldn't be done. So I went bopping down there and found him. But uh, that got me a, a deal. And the next time, I just went over in Port, they were missing in Port Dick. I went over a beautiful day, landed in the water to take a leap. I looked at the beach and there's two people standing there saying, <laughs> <laughs> I picked him up and brought him to town. I got another citation. <laughs> you know, you win some, you lose some. <laughs>